Hey yo, if you need some fast MT, make sure you go over to AOEAH.com for some fast MT and use code ROYAL for 3% off. I promise you won't regret it, man. What is good with y'all boys, man? It's bro Ryan and I'm back on this BZ once again, man. And today I got a little tutorial video. So today I'm gonna break down the team that I have and like how I go about with that team and why I built that type of team. We're also going to go over a few budget players that are some pretty good pickups and I highly recommend that if you're in need, put some of them on your team. But I'm done talking. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Roll to 900 and let's go, man. Okay, so first things first, man, we got to come with the budget players, man. And the best budget player, well, not best, but you know, the cheapest budget player, but that's actually really a beast. This is Clay Thompson. For only three tokens, you can get this Clay Thompson, which has a pretty nice green window. Pretty nice release, obviously, is Clay Thompson. He has a nice release every year, bro. So, you know, he has an 85 three point. Smack a shoe on him, get a coach that can easily go to a 90. But I mean, 85, that is still makeable, bro. And plus, they fixed the shooting on this game. So, yeah. And plus, he can play a little bit of defense. It's not like a Ruby, but hey. It's Clay Thompson. It's an Emerald Clay Thompson. You cannot be mad at it, bro. The next player is Myers Leonard. Another token reward. Only three tokens. He is a nice center to pick up. He can shoot the three ball. He can grab rebounds. And he can play defense, man. And on top of that, he is seven foot. He is seven foot, man. So, yes. This is a pretty good card to pick up, man. 83 three-pointer he has a 70 interior defense which isn't bad for an emerald not gonna lie to you which isn't bad for an emerald and honestly the interior defense in this game is not really broken so i mean you can really get contested shots and they're not gonna go in so yes this is a pretty good center to pick up if you're in need of a center but don't have the big bags to get it bro another great player to get is trevor reza trevor reza has been good for three years straight bro and like bro this card is still good same release same jump shot same everything bro basically almost the same exact stats as last year but just the only difference is he's not in a token reward they even have the same picture same picture as last year and last year, bro, that card was goaded. I'm not gonna lie to you. He was on my budget team for the longest. 84 three-point shot and an 84 perimeter defense. This is a really good small four power four that you can pick up just for a few thousand MT, bro. Like, I think I picked him up for 2K MT, but yeah, he's a very good pickup for 2000 MT. I promise you, you will not regret it, bro. Now, on to the rubies. There is a lot of rubies that you can pick up, but Kenny Smith might be the best one. No cap. No cap. Kenny Smith might be the best one, man. He can shoot. He can play defense. He can do it all, man. He has a 93-point shot, 87 mid-range. He has a 80 driving dunk, and his defense is not too bad either. He has a 77 perimeter defense and a 74 still, which is not bad, bro. So this is a pretty good card to pick up. If you need defense, if you need offense, he can do it all, man. Both sides of the ball, he got you. He straight got you. Another good point guard to pick up is Damian Lillard. This card is a beast, man. He can dunk on people. He can shoot. He can defend. He can pass. He can... Man, I'm telling you, all the players on these lists can do it all. But this card right here can definitely do it all. He can dunk on any center. He can shoot over anybody. Like, bro, I am promise you. This card is goaded, bro. And I'm not trying to exaggerate it either, bro. He has an 81 three-point shot, plus the coach that I have, he has an 84 three-point shot right now. And then he has an 85 driving dunk. And he gets contact dunks, like, very well. Like, I dunk on almost every time. I dunk almost every time when I drive into the paint and there's somebody in the paint. I promise you, like, I even get contact dunks over Kareem. Like, it's crazy how... It's crazy his tendencies for contact dunks. Bro. Now his defense isn't too good, but it's not too bad either. It's at a 70. But hey, if you have like a good shooting guard that can play defense, you might as well just switch him. Because there's no shooting guard that's really out here just mixing people. The next player on this list is Ray Allen, man. This man can play defense. He can shoot the lights out, man. Y'all already know how I like him. I like my 3 and D type of players, man. So like I said, 93 three-point and his defense isn't no ho either. He has like an 84 perimeter defense, which is really good for Ray Allen, bro. Like, honestly, when I looked at his stats, it, it, I did not expect him to have an 84 perimeter defense, but he does. So 
He has a 93 three-point shot with an 84 defense, and he can go to the rim a little bit. He has a 66 driving dunk, but I promise you, if nobody's in the if nobody's in the lane, he's dunking it almost every time. And then you already know I had to get Clay Clay. He's just a good Ruby every year. If you're looking for a good Ruby to start off with, always go for Clay Thompson, man. I know he's on the list twice, but I'm he's just a good card all around. Ever since what like 2k16 he's just been a beast he's just been a beast in the game bro so this card is always a good pickup you can never go wrong with picking up clay thompson because he can lock down your point guard and he can he can also do it on the offensive end so go with clay thompson man and if you're in need of a backup center go with rick smith great mid-range great defense great rebounding great everything man he's just a just a goat bro just it's just that simple. He doesn't go for that much. He goes for under 10K. Everybody on this list goes for under 10K, bro. I promise you, everybody on this list goes for under 10K. Why not pick up Rick Smith? If you need a little bit more interior defense, go with him. So this is my starting five right here. It's not that good of a team, but hey, I get wins and that's all that matters, right? So this is how I construct my team. I have a good point guard that can occasionally drive to the rim, dunk on people, and can shoot as well. And everybody else, except for Allen Houston, can play defense rather well. And they can also shoot. So I like to surround my point guard with 3 and D type of players, except for Rick Smiths. But that's only because there's not really big man shooting in the game right now. You know, it's still early in the game. But he still has that mid-range jump shot. I can still do pick and pops with him. I can still do pick and rolls. So, I mean, I'm not complaining with it. And even on my bench, Kenny Smith, that's my point guard. And every Everybody surrounding him are 3 and D type of players. So that's how I build my team, point guard, 3 and D type of players, and I try to make sure my centers have at least a mid-range shot. Also, if you're looking for a coach but you don't have big money, get Frank Vogel, man. He's going for under 10K. He boosts your three, your mid-range. He boosts your defense. He boosts everything, bro. That's why he's such a good coach. I highly recommend you getting the Lakers coach Frank Vogel. So, yeah. So, those were, like, the first few tips. Part one, if I should make a part two. Leave a like if I should make a part two. And that would be, like, more on the gameplay type of side and stuff like that. But hey, hopefully y'all enjoyed that video and bro, this is the first video since I got 800 so I just want to thank every single one of y'all that showed to my stream, that showed to these videos, everybody that just supports me man. Shout out to y'all, without y'all I would not be here right now. So hey, this is Ryan man, I'm out to do this.